Hello from Seoul. So many people think that making jajangmyeon is quite complicated. You could not be more wrong. So today, let me show you the simplest but the most delicious black bean noodles in the world. And at the end of this video, you may think should I open up my own restaurant with this? Yeah, it's the quick and easy and delicious. Today, we're gonna be making jajangmyeon. Yes, that scary noodles with black sauce. Normally, at restaurants, they make a big, big batch of the sauce and let it sit for a while to release more flavor. So it takes quite a while to cook. But don't worry about it. With a little bit of technique that I'm gonna show you today, you're gonna have the simplest but the most flavorful jajangmyeon that you ever had. I guarantee it. For this, you will need onion, cabbage, green onion, ginger, chunjang, black bean paste, and some pork. Usually, I make this with pork belly because it's got a good amount of fat. But to dramatically cut down your cooking time, I brought this ground pork. However, if pork is not your thing, you can also go with chicken or beef. No problem at all. But if I were you, I wouldn't do that. Alright, let's start with vegetables. First, onion. Cut one and a half or 420 grams of yellow onions into nice big chunks. Of course, you could chop them into smaller pieces to reduce the cooking time, but it totally depends on who you're cooking for. My hangry bird at home really cares about texture, so there's nothing much I can do about it. If you're just about to get married, listen, it's your future. Good luck! Next, cut 100 grams of cabbage into bite-sized pieces. If you're a true veggie lover or you're trying to get more veggies in your meals, then you can also add some zucchini here. But to keep it really simple, I'm gonna skip this today. Once you're done with the cabbage, thinly slice some green onions. Actually, for jajangmyeon, it's not an essential ingredient and many restaurants don't use it. I think it's probably because of the cost. But what do I say all the time? That's right, more green onion, more delicious. So be super generous with this. Trust me, this will take you to the next level. This time, ginger. Grab a small knob of ginger and finely chop it. We only need a very small amount, like half a teaspoon. But you know what? It's necessary. So if you have a family member who hates ginger, please sneak it in with this grater. Trust me, nobody would notice there's ginger in it. What? Someone complains about that? Then send them to a culinary school. Congratulations. You just have future Gordon Ramsay in your family. And then it's not a good idea, but if you want to propose to your girlfriend with this jajangmyeon, not a fancy steak, get yourself some cucumber and cut it into matchsticks. This bad boy will make your dish more beautiful. Lastly, let's talk about this chunjang black bean paste. When you make jajangmyeon, you really need to fry this with a lot of oil, almost like deep frying. But you don't want to do that, especially on a busy weeknight, right? But don't worry about it. Let me show you amazing techniques to make it more simple and easy. What? You want to know that kind of simple recipes more and more? I'm so glad you brought that up because I wrote it for you. With this one book, you can cook more than 100 delicious Korean dishes like a pro. So don't forget to check it out. The link is in the description. Alright, we're set. Let's get cooking. In a wok or pan, add 3 tablespoons of oil and place it over high heat. Once it gets nice and hot, add 200 grams of ground pork. Make sure to break up the pork and give it about 1-2 to two minutes or until no longer pink. And then reduce the heat to medium, add in your ginger, 3 tablespoons of chunjang, black bean paste, and stir fry for about 1-2 to two minutes. Thanks to the fat from the pork, you don't have to deep fry the black bean paste in advance with lots and lots of oil. Pretty good tip, right? You're welcome. But make sure you keep stirring it so it doesn't burn on the bottom. If that happens, everything is over. Your girlfriend won't say yes. So if you're not confident about this, turn it down to a low heat. No problem at all. Once that's done, change the heat to medium-high, add in your green onions, onion, cabbage, and stir them around for about 2 minutes. Once the veggies soften up a little bit, add half a tablespoon of soy sauce, one and a half tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder, a quarter cup of water, and stir fry for about three minutes. 
Just like when you make pasta, that little bit of water is gonna have combined all together. And then bring our secret weapon. MSG. And just set a pinch of it. Of course it's optional, but there are a few dishes that really need this bad boy. And I think jajangmyeon is one of them. Trust me, it's not something bad or something horrible. So if you really want to get that restaurant taste, let's give this a try. You won't regret it. Lastly, to thicken up the sauce, add a cornstarch slurry and stir it all together. That's it. Alright, our sauce is done. Let's cook the noodles real quick. Today, I'm using Chinese style frozen noodles, which is called Junghwamyeon. What? You can get this? Don't worry about it. The sauce works great with any type of noodles. Udon noodles, kalgoksu noodles, everything will be fantastic. So just use what you have. That's the best. Alright, time to assemble. Let's put some noodles into a bowl. And add our beautiful sauce on top of the noodles. And then add some cucumber for garnish. How does it look? It looks exactly the same as the one from a restaurant, right? If you cook it at home, I'm pretty sure your family will think you're a Korean master chef who mastered my cookbook, Simply Korean. All right, let's see how it tastes. Claire? Wow, looks amazing. I feel like I just got a delivery and I'm fully prepared to try this. Why? Because I'm wearing a black t-shirt. Let's mix it. Something is missing. 그래도 뭐 메인 주인공만 말씀이 되지 뭐, 그렇지? 오늘은 뭔가 자기가 더 예쁘게, 펜시하게 만든 느낌이라기보다 그냥 진짜 짜장면 집에서 배달 받은 그런 느낌? 완전히 그 느낌을 잘 살렸네. 음. Oh, it's totally mixed. I love it. 음. Cheers. 음. 제대로 됐네. 음. 음. 입이 막 바빠진다. <웃음> 음. 음. 비주얼만 똑같은 게 아니라 맛까지 진짜 똑같아. 진짜 거짓말 1도 안 했음. 너무 맛있어. 괜찮네. 불맛도 느껴지고 양파의 그 아삭함도 여기 봤었을 때는 그렇게 아삭해 보이진 않았을 것 같거든? 근데 그 느낌이 제대로 살아. 그 간고기, 간고기 쓴거 신의 한 수네. 큰 덩어리로 먹는 것도 좋지만 그면 사이사이에 들어오는 그 녀석들이 맛을 샥샥 올려주고 그리고 이 오이 있잖아. 그냥 데콘 줄 알았거든? 근데 <웃음> 중간에 들어오는데 그 상큼함이 중간에 톡톡 터지는 게아 이거 개, 기가 막히네. 나 너무 흥분했다 갑자기. 그 풍부했다. <웃음> 너무 맛있다. 괜찮다. 완전 재현이 제대로 됐어. 오, 진짜. 비주얼까지 오늘 비슷해서 그런지 뭔지 모르겠지만 그냥 진짜 밖에서 사먹은 느낌이야. 제대로다. 음, 다무지가 없는 게큰 에러긴 하다. 지금 이맘때쯤 딱 다무지 샥샥샥 아, 사과 싹 씹어줬어야 됐는데. <웃음> 대신 계란 후라이랑 먹겠습니다. <웃음> 아니면 아쉬운 대로 양파 남은 거 춘장에다 찍어 먹자. 음, 믿기지 않겠지만, 음, 맛있어. 그냥 양파 자체에서 나오는 그 수분감과 그 단맛이 춘장의 그 약간 씁쓸한 맛이랑 만나가지고 완벽한 조합을 이룬단 말이야. 최고의 궁합이야. 단, 말은 좀 많이 하면 안 돼. <웃음> 너무 맛있다. 음, 단무지 없어도 괜찮아, 괜찮아. 음. Or if it doesn't sound appetizing, you can serve with kimchi. No problem at all. Hello from Seoul. Do you like bulgogi? What about noodles? Bulgogi, good. Noodles, nice. Then what if I combine those two? I know it's hard to believe, but it's a real thing. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. Today, we're gonna be making bulgogi noodles, the iconic Korean beef dish combined with nice and chewy noodles. Is that anything you don't love? No, I don't think so. And the best thing about this dish is it's super easy to make. So buckle up 
For this, you will need noodles, onion, carrot, garlic chives, mushrooms, green onions, and some beef. Since it's bulgogi noodles, I've got some beef just to make it classic. But you could also use any other protein like chicken or pork. So just use what you have. Our superhero bulgogi sauce will take care of everything. Alright, let's start with the vegetables. First, slice half an onion. Not too thin, not too thick. If it's too thick, your girlfriend may not want to talk to you because of your breath. Or you may not want to talk to her. Don't get me wrong. That's not my story. Next, slice some carrot into thin matchsticks. This bad boy doesn't affect the taste, so totally optional. But this is gonna make it look a lot more fancy. So let's not skip the carrot. We are grown-ups. Once that's done, take 4 button mushrooms and thinly slice them. The combination of our bulgogi sauce and mushroom, that's just amazing. So I really hope you use some. Normally, I like to use shiitake mushroom, but button mushroom is also gonna be great with bulgogi. So don't worry about it. Let me prove it in a few minutes. And then cut some garlic chives into long strips. We don't need a lot, we just need a small amount. But if you really don't wanna buy it, then you can replace it with our love green onion. No problem at all. This time, let's chop some green onions. As always, to boost up the flavor, we're gonna make green onion oil with the white part and use the green part for garnish. So make sure to put them separately. What? You wanna have bulgogi with lots and lots of veggies? Then bring them all. Broccoli, asparagus, everything will work fantastic. But rather than cooking them all together, I'll recommend you cook them separately and serve them at the end as a garnish. Because if you cook the beef with lots of veggies, a lot of juice will come out and they can dilute the real taste of bulgogi. And then cut 300 grams of thinly sliced beef into nice bite-sized pieces. It doesn't need to be paper thin, but if you could use some bulgogi cut like this, that will dramatically cut down your cooking time. So if there's a Korean grocery store near your place, it'll be so worth a visit. You're welcome, H-Mart. Once that's done, let's move on to the sauce. To a small container, add 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, one and a half tablespoons of oyster sauce, 2 tablespoons of mirin, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, half a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, a few shakes of black pepper, and give it a good mix. Normally, when we make bulgogi, we combine the beef with the marinade and throw it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. But we can't wait that long, especially after a long day of work, right? So let's just start cooking. Don't worry about it. With me, you'll still get the best result. Alright, bring a pot of water to a boil. And once it starts to boil, cook your noodles according to the package instructions. Any kind of noodles would work, but I'm gonna go with the udon noodles. I hope our taste tester is okay with this. Anyways, when the noodles are cooked, take them out and set them aside. Now into a wok or pan, add 1 tablespoon of oil and heat it over medium heat. Once it gets nice and hot, add the white parts of the green onions and make green onion oil for about 30 seconds. Once you can smell the beautiful aroma, increase the heat to medium high, add in your beef and let them cook for about 2-3 minutes. The beef is halfway done. Let's bring our mushrooms, onion, carrot and give them a good stir for about 1-2 to two minutes. Now increase the heat to high, add in our cooked noodles and the sauce and toss everything together for about 2-3 to three minutes. That's it! But if you make it more pretty like you've seen on TV or you wanna open your own restaurant with this, then add half a teaspoon of this dark soy sauce. Here, some of you might say, Aaron, that's not Korean condiment. What are you doing? Yes, you're right. But a small amount of dark soy sauce will give it a beautiful color without changing the flavor. So you don't have to worry about it. When the beef is cooked through and the noodles look fantastic, turn the heat off and add some garlic chives. We gotta do this with the remaining heat to keep its beautiful color and texture. Last but not least, drizzle a little bit of toasted sesame oil. This will make it more glossy and take it to the next level. Alright, it's time to plate this up. Let's get some onto a plate and finish it up with some green onions and toasted sesame seeds. How was it? It was so easy and looks absolutely delicious, right? Alright, let's call our taste tester. Claire? Mm, I know how good it is, but I've never tried this with udon noodles because Aaron usually makes this with spaghetti noodles. So I can't wait to try. Let's give it a shot. 
<웃음> 맛있겠다. 냄새 기가 막히네. 오, 와, 고기 큰거 봐라. <웃음> 불고기, you never let me down. Ready? 음, 역시. 고기가 큼직큼직은 하지만, 그래도 얇아서 부드럽게, 음, 씹는 데 있어서 전혀 불편함 없이 너무 맛있고, 그리고 이 불고기 특유의 약간의 아주 슬라이트한 달콤함이랑 그 짭조름함. 너무 좋아. 향이 너무 입에서 그냥 향기로워. 맛있어. This time, let's try with noodles. 음, 음, 음. 면이랑 같이 먹으니까 진짜 더 맛있어. 음. 그리고 우동면으로 하니까 내가 항상 말하잖아. 약간 두꺼워서 되게 만족스럽다니까 뭔가. 음? 그 마우스 베어. 뭔가의 그 입에서 느껴지는 그 느낌이 다른 게 색다른 게 너무 재밌어. 음. Chewy and bouncy. <웃음> so good. 음. 우리 원래 스파게티 면에다 할 때는 위에다 치즈 좀 뿌려서 먹는 거 되게 좋아하잖아. 여기에도 치즈가 좀 어울릴까? Alright, let's try with some parmesan. 스파게티 면보다는 확실히 안 어울릴 것 같긴 해. 그래도 한번 해보는 거지 뭐. 응? 내가 한번 테스트 해보는 거지. <웃음> 오, 꼬릿꼬릿한 냄새가 추가가 됐어. Ready? 응? 괜찮다. 응, 음. 응. 음. 면이 문제가 아니네. 그냥 불고기 소스랑 치즈는 무조건 잘 어울리네. 안 했었으면 큰일 날 뻔했어. I need to try this mushroom because it's very rare to see him using different kinds of mushroom. <웃음> 자기 원래 맨날 표고버섯만 쓰는 사람이잖아. 이 한송이 버섯도 잘 어울리는지 보겠다. 근데 왜 이렇게 조그만 걸 썼어? <웃음> 뭐안 어울릴래 안 어울릴 수가 없지 그냥 맛있네 내가 너무 맛있게 먹어서 이게 되게 완벽해 보이긴 하겠지만 I know he missed something that is 김치! <웃음> 아니 한국 음식을 먹는데 김치가 빠졌다는 이 말이나 돼? Bring some 김! Love from Seoul? Let's be honest, making your own meal on a busy week night can be challenging. After a long day at work, all you want to do is relax on the couch and do absolutely nothing. That's why I brought this chicken noodle soup. Simple ingredients, budget friendly, and most importantly, it only takes 20 minutes. No matter how busy your life is, trust me, it's worth a try. It's getting cold outside, so there'll be nothing better than having a chicken noodle soup. But to get that rich and deep broth, it takes a lot of time and love. And I know that's not what you want, right? So for those of you, I brought this, a 20-minute chicken noodle soup. But don't worry about it. Just because we're cooking fast, it doesn't mean we're compromising on flavor. Trust me, once you try, you'll find yourself making this dish all winter long. For this, you will need some chicken, onion, green onions, garlic, potato, carrot, shiitake mushrooms, and some Korean knife cut noodles. Normally, to make a Korean chicken noodle soup, we need to boil the whole chicken, shred it up, let it cool, and season with some spices, and then put the bones back into the broth and simmer it for another half an hour. That sounds too complicated, right? But don't worry about it. Today, we're gonna be using only chicken thighs. And with a little bit of technique that I'm gonna show you today, you're gonna get amazingly delicious broth at the end. Maybe because of this simple recipe, you will never wanna go to a Korean restaurant again. Alright, let's prep the vegetables. First, thinly slice half an onion. When the fat from the chicken meets this onion, that will create an incredible flavor and that will take our broth to the next level. And for information, if you want to cut down your cooking time, please be sure to thinly slice it. Next, let's chop some green onions. For Korean soups or stews, these bad boys are necessary. You can't talk about them without these bad boys, so remember. More green onion, more delicious. So please be generous with this. Once you're done slicing, smash three cloves of garlic and finely chop them. 
and then cut half a potato into matchsticks. The starch from the potato will thicken our soup, so you're gonna get more intense flavor at the end. And that is the beauty of kaigoksu, Korean knife cut noodle soup, so please do not skip it. Once that's done, slice some carrot into matchsticks. I'm gonna use about an eighth of a carrot. Actually, the carrot is not necessary, but this vibrant orange color will make it more beautiful and lovely. Lastly, thinly slice two shiitake mushrooms. It doesn't have to be shiitake mushrooms. You can use anything you want, except for random mushrooms in your backyard. So just use what you have. Everything will be fantastic. All right, the veg prep is done. Let's move on to the seasoning sauce for our noodle soup. But we need a few ingredients for this sauce. So let me prepare them real quick. First, finely chop one green onion and one clove of garlic. And for a spicy kick, finely chop one green chili. I'm using Cheongyang chili pepper, which is very spicy. But if you don't want it spicy, you can totally skip it. No problem at all. And then just for a little bit of a color, slice some mild red chili. All right, let's dump everything into a container. And then add three tablespoons of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of mirin, one tablespoon of Korean chili pepper flakes, one teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, some black pepper, and give it a good mix. That's it. So simple, right? For information, you could also enjoy this with steamed rice and dried seaweed. How? Just put a little bit of sauce on the rice and fold it. Because it's salty, spicy, and addictive, it's gonna be hard to stop eating it. So make sure you save some for your chicken noodle soup. Alright, it's cooking time. Get yourself a wok or pot. Add half a tablespoon of oil and heat it over medium-high heat. Once it gets nice and hot, place the chicken skin side down and cook for about 4 minutes. Once the chicken is nicely browned on the bottom, flip them over. And into this beautiful fat, throw in your sliced onions. Now we're just gonna caramelize these onions, but you don't have to saute these for like 40 or 50 minutes. Just about 4 to 5 minutes would be enough. And while you're doing it, using your tongs and scissors, cut the chicken into nice bite-sized pieces. You don't even need to cut the chicken on your cutting board. Awesome, right? Alright, once your chicken and onions are beautifully cooked like this, add 4 cups of water and bring it to a boil. Today, we're gonna use 7 cups of water in total, but we're not gonna add it all at once, because this way, we can extract all the good flavors more effectively and quickly. Amazing, right? What? You wanna know this kind of tea more and more? I'm so glad you brought that up. Because everything you need is in this one book. Trust me, with this one book, you can cook more than 100 Korean dishes like a pro. So don't forget to check it out. The link is in the description. Once it starts to boil, add in your potatoes, carrots, shiitake mushrooms, 1.5 tablespoons of chicken bouillon powder, 1 tablespoon of fish sauce, and let it continue to boil for about 3 more minutes. Alright, it's been 3 minutes. Let's add the remaining 3 cups of water and bring it to a boil. It may seem like a lot of water, but our knife cut noodles absorb a lot of the broth. So if you add a small amount of water, you might end up with a chicken noodle soup with no soup. So you don't have to worry about it. You're doing good. Meanwhile, let's talk about the noodles. Today, as its name, I'm gonna be using fresh kalgoksu noodles, Korean knife cut noodles. Normally, this kalgoksu noodle has a lot of starch on the surface, so make sure you give it a quick rinse. Otherwise, again, you will end up with a chicken noodle soup with no soup. But be sure to remember this one thing. Rinse it right before you add it. If you don't take my advice and just rinse the noodles in advance and let it sit for a while on the counter, they're gonna stick together and you will see something like a wet pizza dough. So when you see the broth starts boiling again, that's the time. Once it's boiling again, add 2 cups of kalgoksu noodles and cook according to the package instructions. This will take about 5 to 6 minutes. When the noodles are cooked, turn the heat off. Now all you need to do is just add in our green onions, garlic, and give it a good mix. The residual heat will cook them a little bit, but if you're not a big fan of the strong aroma of raw garlic and green onions, you could just add them to the broth along with other vegetables. No problem at all. But this way, it's gonna be more fragrant, so I hope you follow my lead. Alright, let's start plating. Place some noodles in a bowl, and then add a good amount of the broth and a few shakes of black pepper. Now we can just serve this with our beautiful seasoning sauce on the side. Alright, it's done. You wanna know how it tastes? Let's call our taste tester. Claire, 
Wow, it's getting chilly outside and my body wants a nice comforting noodle soup. It's getting chilly outside and my body wants a nice comforting noodle soup. How did you read my mind? I'm super excited. Let's give it a try. Wow, the water is coming from the top. It's really nice and nice. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. It's really good. Wow. 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 애기들도 먹게 완벽하다고. 이제 양념장까지 넣어서 먹으면 더 완벽해지지. It looks super delicious, so you may wanna add a lot, but you should not. It's gonna be very salty, so just add a little bit. 음, 더 맛있어졌네. 명색이 닭칼국수인데 아직 닭을 안 먹어서 닭을 닭을 먹어봐야지. Cheers. 음, 엄청 주스하구만, 아주 촉촉해. 그냥 물에 빠진 닭이랑은 차원이 다르게 쫄깃쫄깃한 식감이 있어서 무컹무컹하고 흐물흐물 거리는 그런 닭 싫어하는 사람들, 그런 사람들한테 딱이다. <웃음> 그런 사람이 바로 나야. <웃음> That's my story. <웃음> 이거를 샥 올려가지고 이제 먹으면 되죠. 먹기도 전에 만족스럽구만. <웃음> Cheers. 음. Hello from Seoul. On a hot summer, whether you're a beginner or a professional chef, the last thing you want to do is stand over a hot stovetop forever, right? But don't worry about it. With this bad boy, you don't have to spend hours in the kitchen. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. Today, we're going to be making ganjang bibimguksu, Korean-style soy sauce noodles. Although there are so many great noodle dishes around the world, once you try this, every summer, you will find yourself making this dish over and over again. Yes, it's that simple, addictive, and delicious. For this, you will need some noodles, ground beef, green onion, garlic, cucumber, soft boiled egg, and toasted sesame seeds. Actually, we don't need all of these. As long as you have some noodles and sesame seeds, you can still make delicious soy sauce noodles. But let's invest a little bit more ingredients and time to make it more delicious. Don't get me wrong, it's not because I'm being blackmailed by my hungry bird at home. She just kindly asked me to do that, without any weapon. Alright, let's start off with our vegetables. First, thinly slice some green onions. This bad boy makes everything taste better, so please be super generous with this. More green onion, more delicious. Next, smash 2 cloves of garlic and finely chop them. If you're in a rush and you want to reduce the prep time, then you could also use some store-bought pre-minced garlic. I think that would be a better option on a busy weeknight. This time, let's julienne some cucumber. I'm gonna use about half of it. Actually, you'll be like the more, the better. Because the fresh cucumber goes really well with this kind of Korean cold noodles. Trust me, the freshness of cucumber will make it a hundred times better. And then grind 2 tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds with a mortar and pestle. Of course, you could just use them as is. But if you grind them up like this, you're gonna get a more intense nutty flavor. This is the technique that separates the mediocre soy sauce noodles from a great one. So please make sure to grind them up like this. Now let's make the sauce. We're gonna be making two kinds of sauces. One is for our meat topping and the other one is for our noodles. 
First, for the beef, in a small container, add 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of oyster sauce, half a tablespoon of mirin, 1 teaspoon of sugar, finely chopped garlic, half a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, some black pepper, and give it a good mix. If you don't mind spending a little bit more time, you can marinate the beef with this. Then you're gonna get fantastic beef bulgogi. But since we're using only a small amount of meat and it's even ground beef, let's skip it this time. Don't worry about it, still gonna be good. Next, for our noodles, combine 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of vinegar, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of corn syrup, 2 tablespoons of toasted sesame oil, a few shakes of black pepper, and a pinch of MSG, which is totally optional. For information, instead of sesame oil, adding the same amount of perilla oil is a good option too. And not only that, if you want to add a little bit of kick to it, add 1 tablespoon of Korean chili pepper flakes. There can be another variation that you would love. Alright, we're set. Let's get cooking. In a wok or pan, add half a tablespoon of oil and heat it over medium-high heat. Once it's heated, add 200 grams of ground beef. And then spread it out and just leave it in the pan for about 1-2 to two minutes. Once the beef is nicely browned on the bottom, flip and stir fry it for about 2 minutes. Here, we wanna render out the fat and evaporate the liquid as much as possible. So make sure you give it a good stir and keep tossing it around. When the beef is nicely browned, pour in our sauce and stir fry for about 1-2 to two minutes. The fat from the beef will add so much flavor to our beautiful sauce. So if your beef is too lean, add a splash more oil. Alright, looks like it's done. Let's turn the heat off and set that aside. Now let's prep the noodles. Bring a pot of water to a boil and cook your noodles according to the package instructions. Today, I'm using jungmyeon because it's slightly thicker than soymyeon noodles so I kind of prefer its texture. But even if you're using different types of noodles, you don't have to worry about it. They'll be all fantastic so just use what you have. That's the best. Alright, the noodles are cooked. Let's take them out and give them a quick rinse on the cold water. Once they're cool enough to handle, give them a good rinse to remove some starch from the noodles, just like washing your socks. Not like very expensive clothes. Here, some of you might ask, Aaron, is it alright? Are you sure the noodles won't be turned off? Don't worry about it. That's not gonna happen. But by any chance, if they got torn, you should really consider changing your career. I think you could be a world champion in arm wrestle. Good luck, Hulk. Anyways, once that's done, give them one more rinse and squeeze out the water. Finally, we're ready to assemble. Let's put it all together. In a large mixing bowl, add your noodles, beef, sauce, and mix it with your hand. Here, make sure there's someone around you because this will not only give you that authentic vibe, it will also make them think you're a Korean master chef. Yes, this is how to show off. But don't forget to wash your hands thoroughly before you do that. When the noodles are nicely coated, give it a quick taste and add some more salt or soy sauce. For information, I added half a tablespoon more of soy sauce. Alright, let's start plating. Place some noodles into a bowl and top it up with some cucumber, green onion, and a soft boiled egg. If you have some salad greens or microgreens in your fridge, bring them all. All the different vegetables will make it more fancy. Last but not least, let's sprinkle on some ground toasted sesame seeds. How does it look? It looks so beautiful. You don't know what to say, right? Alright, let's score our taste tester. Claire? Wow, looks fancy. Normally we don't use this Yugi bowl because it's a high maintenance bowl. So I feel like I'm in a fancy Korean restaurant. Let's give it a try. Wow, 석기 너무 미안할 정도로 예쁘게 공들여서 탑을 쌓아놨어. Let's mix it. 계란을 살짝 안전한 곳으로 대피시키고. 우와 여기 깨. 와 이거 섞이면 진짜 고소하겠다. 깨에서 오는 그 고소한 냄새가 막 진동을 하네. 우와. Makes me so hungry. Cucumber and meat topping. Cheers. 차가운 건데 맨날 습관이 맨날 불어. 오케이. 음! 오 마이 갓! 이거 너무 맛있어! 완전 맛있다! 되게 고소한 그런 양념들이 면을 샥잘 코팅이 돼가지고 진짜 맛있어! 이런 고소한 맛을 오랜만에 먹으니까 뭔가 먹자마자 되게 그냥 건강해지는 그런 느낌이 살짝 난다? 약간 고소한 맛만 있으면 중간에 먹다 좀 질릴 수가 있거든? 
근데 약간의 그 산미가 있으니까 전혀 질리지 않는 것 같아. 늘 그렇게 먹을 수 있을 것 같아. <웃음> 어. 아 그리고 그 중간중간에 그 고기가 신의 한 수네. 약간 마늘이 잔뜩 들어간 불고기 맛? 그런 느낌이야. 짭조름하면서 갈리키한 게 되게 맛있네. 오. 음. 오이의 향긋함이 맛을 더샥잘 끌어준다. 오이 좀더 줘봐. <웃음> I want some more crunch. Thank you. 미안하지만 내가 넣어서 먹을게요. 자기는 이따 더 썰어서 드세요. 다 느낌? 음, 훨씬 더 여름에 먹기 좋은 음식으로 변신한 느낌이야. 음, 괜찮네. So I hope everyone can try this noodle dish. You're not gonna regret it. So good.